Hello, this is Vic, and on this video, we're gonna be, I'm gonna be explaining how to breed your gerbils. Um, it's a very, very simple process. Um, as you can see here, there's six babies. And, um, first off, um, you definitely need to get a, uh, a female, that's, that's their mom, and a male, like the black one, and, um, you want to get them, if they're already in the same cage at the pet store from your breeder, um, it just makes it more simpler, and, uh, if you do get two from separate places, uh, you can either put baby powder on them and change the cage and put them in a new cage, but that doesn't work all the time. Or you can do the split tank method, which is just like where you put something like uh, some wire, like like the top of the cage, like this right here. Uh, you just put that down the middle of the cage and um, leave them in there for a little bit. Then you know, they'll get used to each other's scent. And uh, most people switch the, switch the gerbils from one side to the other, um, from the male side to the female side, and put the female on the male side. And, um, so let's get started here, um, like I said, about how to put them, to, put them together, if you get them from two separate places, uh, make sure they're not brother and sister, or related, um, it, they're, even though they are rodents, it's not that good. I mean, uh, you could run into problems, but then again, you might not. But, um, you don't want to take the chance. Um, so, you just pretty much get you like a 10 gallon tank or something like this, or just a wire cage. And, and um, they'll breed. It, it's pretty simple. Um, on a couple of my other videos, I've showed uh, what it looks like with a mate and all that. Um, for gerbils, it takes about 21 days or three weeks for them to have babies. Um, it does vary. Uh, so, you can tell when your gerbil's getting pregnant. Uh, the teats will become more obvious. Um, she'll be getting a lot fatter. Um, when they do, around that time, they'll be eating a lot more. And then they will give birth. The average litter is six, uh, which is exactly what I have here. There's three right there. There's two more, and then there's another one right there. And that other gray one back there, that's one of their older litters. Uh, there was only two of them, and one of them died, so I just kept it. So when I take them to the pet store, she doesn't get sold by herself. Right there. She is albino, so um, half of these guys are albino. Half of the half of them have a are not albino. And uh, when she does have babies, uh, if if your gerbils are used to you and they know your scent, you can touch the babies and pick them up. But um, usually I do it as soon as they're born. I just pick them up, make sure that they got all their limbs, their tails, no cut. No cuts or anything on them like that. And then I just, I just set them right back down. And uh, yes, you can leave the mom and dad to get together. He will help take care of the babies. As you can see here, that I do have the mom and the dad together. Uh, they are not like hamsters where you have to take the dad apart. But um, yeah, you can leave them together. Um, as, soon as, she, as soon as she has babies... Uh, the next day, uh, she'll be pregnant again, so once these guys right here get, uh, get ready to get weaned off, like about three and a half, four weeks, um, the mom will be having another litter of babies, so, um, if you're not looking for constant babies, uh, don't get a male to female gerbil, and, uh, they're really simple to breed. Really, really simple. Um, as long as you just take care of them. Uh, I feed them the little lab blocks right there. That's good for them. Uh, or either you can feed them the uh, mixture of seeds and all that stuff. Um, I just buy mine in bulk because I have so many. Um, it's cheaper for me. 
And uh, I use this type of bedding right here. Um, I don't know what it's called. But um, it's really good bedding. Um, uh, it's the old absorbent kind. It comes in like the green and white bag. Um, you can use uh, some of the other types of beddings. Pretty much as long as you stay away from pine and aspen. Um, I do not use pine and aspen. Either I use this or like I have in this other cage right here. These are my dwarf hamsters. Uh, this is this is not pine. It's not aspen. It's called poplar. Poplar shavings. Um, this is good also. Um, it doesn't have the odor absorbent, but um, it does absorb a little bit of the moisture. But this does a really good job. Or the Care Fresh does a really good job also. So, just breeding your gerbils. It's very simple. Um. When they are first born, they're, they're little pinkies. Uh, then about a week, they'll start getting fur on them. And then about two and a half to three weeks, they will their ears will start separating from the skin on their head. And then they'll be able to hear. Then their eyes will open. These guys' eyes are going to open any time now. And um, then at four weeks, they're ready to leave mom. Um, but if you want to be on the safe side, wait till six weeks. That's the proper age you should sell them at. And uh, but yeah, it's definitely easy to breed gerbils. Um, trying to think if I left out any of the important things here. Um, yeah, but that's about it. You know, just you just uh. Watch some videos like I'm doing here, or do a little bit of research. Ask your local pet store, and um, yeah, like I said, just make sure they're not related. If they are related, you can get a couple litters, but it, I wouldn't suggest it at all. So you know, just um, just um, uh, do do what I have said in this video. And you will definitely be fine in the long run. And um, that's about it. So um, if you all have any more questions, uh, leave some in the comments. I can make more videos. Uh, my next video will be about uh, gerbil care. How to just care for your gerbils. And I will include tips about everything I can think of about gerbils in that video. But um, yeah, comment if you... If you need anything else, if you need to know anything else, then uh, just a like, subscribe, and uh, and uh, tell me what else, what other videos I should make. Like I said, the next video is gonna be about how to care for your gerbils, and then after that, I'm actually gonna move over to the fish, um, teach you a little bit about fish. So um, yeah, like, subscribe, comment for more videos, comment questions or anything like that and uh thank you for watching